Hey, what's going on YouTube? The Digital Soul here. Psh. This is number two of the Get Up Movement, because we want to get up and we want to move, right? Well, I'm just, you know, giving everybody a heads up. Here's my number. I started on the 30th. Today's what? The 11th. Just became the 11th here. It's actually the 10th, because it's 12th. 31 a.m. So it is technically the 11th, but the, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. But uh, my weight hasn't changed that much. I started out at 212 point something and I'm like pushing 209. I'm approaching and I'm saying, hey, 209, here I come. What's up? You know, but uh, I just wanted to see how everybody's doing. You know, how are you guys doing with the weight loss? Are you just getting up or are you just moving? Not even are you losing weight are you feeling any better do you have more energy are you less tired because now you're getting up and you're actually doing something do you feel more alive a little more virile you know like you want to get up and you want to move now over over here in the descriptions okay I'm gonna put up a little web link there it's a calorie counter what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and you're gonna put in your height your weight your age and how active you are okay and then it's gonna produce something for you and then there's gonna be a little something to show you how active you are it pertains to blah 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 like I do this per day or do you do this or do you do this and you can put in how active you are and then it's gonna show you calories that you should be intaking per day for the activities that you're doing and that might help some of you count your calories better me I base mine off a of 2,000 calories a day diet that's what I intake. I probably burn about 2,300 calories per day according to this thing. So I'm losing weight, okay? Because I'm not just, you know, equal in the odd, you know? I'm not like intaking as much as I am trying to lose, you know? It's just a little different. But I am no expert. I'm, you know, still learning myself. The only thing that I have going for me is that I lost over 100 pounds. But I'm still, you know, not where I want to be. You know, I did go out and finally buy some, you know, new clothes. It's nice to not being that size 52 pants anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some of my old stuff. I don't have it right now. And trust me, I'm not going to go and buy some big clothes just to throw myself in them. Um, I'm actually going to throw up a wedding photo in my next video, too. I don't have any of that prepared because this is just me coming to you and saying, Move! Get up! Move! Do something. Have a good time. I started riding my bike four days a week Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday skip a day you know every other day I'm riding my bike one half hour per day it's uh, like 10 miles I believe on my bike and like I said it simulates hills and I'm enjoying that and then you know I do have some off days and I've been throwing in a little cardio just I'm not just oh I'm off today Oh, I could sit and relax and do nothing, man. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm not in pajamas today. These are sweats. But, oh, I'm off. I could chill. No, I'm taking advantage of that. I'm doing a little something extra, you know, because every little bit helps. I'm not saying to kill yourself, but you get that sort of the itch, you know. Once you start becoming active, you sort of don't want to stop. A lot of people have problems going to the gym and working out on their own. You got to motivate yourself. My, my thing is... uh there's a mirror sometimes you know you just look in that mirror and don't say you can do it no I'm not asking you to do that what I'm asking you to do is visualize in your head your goal your goal is what should push you constantly and I'm not saying set your goal to be a hundred pounds because I didn't set your goal at 10 pounds 20 pounds so when you reach that goal you're like I can do it man I can make this happen so you're constantly climbing and climbing and climbing now a lot of people are going to understand that once you work or do a certain routine for a certain amount of time you're going to plateau for a while well the only thing I could say is this either change your routine or take a few days off now a lot of people when they do take a few days off they have problems getting back into it so I don't want you to take too much time off but what it does is your body gets so used to something that it doesn't benefit you anymore and I've been known where I'll take like three days off and I'll start doing it again then I'll see the loss again but you could always change your routine whatever you start out doing put that at the end flip-flop it do something different 
spin it around, throw your body off. So it's not ready for what's coming. And it's like, whoa, what's going on? Yeah, and then we're burning again. Because that's what's important. You're burning fat, building healthy muscle, and muscle eats fat up. All right, so make sure that you're not killing yourself with that six, six meals a day. If you only do five, do five. And remember, it's not six meals. It's six meals, okay? Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. And you're good. And make sure that you're eating breakfast, man. I, I stressed it in the last one. Get up, force yourself, eat that breakfast, get your body starting to burn fat right away in the morning, man, because, you know, you're intaking that breakfast. That's where you're getting your energy from. Make it a good one. Don't wake up and have a slice of cold pizza or some spaghetti. Wake up and have a healthy breakfast, man. If you want to have a bowl of oatmeal, do that. If you want to have a bowl of... I like Honey Nut Cheerios. That's what I have in the morning. But don't wake up and eat bacon and eggs and butter bread and blah 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 because you're just not helping yourself you know now that i've done that and talked about that use that calorie counter everything i want to touch on something a little different real quick so let's move on as one gathering okay I'm actually getting on a plane Friday at 5.55 a.m. 5.55 a.m., man, okay? And I got a layover, and then, you know, I'm going to be arriving at my destination at around 10.20 a.m., okay? So what I'm saying is I'm going to be there Friday. I'm going to be doing some running around. I'm going to go check out Pier 39. If any of you guys are also arriving early and for those of you that can't make it I'm sorry you know I mean I do feel bad you can PM me we're trying to get these meet and greets everywhere and it's not hey come meet Corey meet Boheme meet Renetto meet Digital Soul meet Nicky Nick meet Spricket 24 meet Crossmack meet whoever's there no it's not hey come see the YouTube celebrities cuz that's not what it is we're not celebrities man I'm a guy on here making videos just like you. How many times have you seen me say that? You're going to walk up to me. If you're someone that I watch, I'm going to be like, Hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? How you doing? It's about everybody getting together. It's as one. To meet each other. To say what's up. Granted, yeah, everybody can't get there. But you never know. When it might be coming to your neck of the woods. I'm an East Coast person. You never know. We might have one here on the East Coast. Let's see how this works out over there. Maybe get one going over here. But as I'm trying to say is I'm going to be there a day early. Maybe around noon or 1230. I'm going to be down Pier 39. Maybe we'll have a little pre as one. No, I'm just saying, you know, I mean, if someone's going to, I'm going to be around. Maybe have a little lunch or something before I hook up with some other people. But, uh. You know, if you're going to be there early, say what's up. You know, maybe we'll run into each other. I might not recognize everybody, but if you recognize me, I, my, my whole thing is, here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to get there and people are going to be like, digital who? Yeah, you guys know me, but does Bohem's people know me? Does Corey's people know me? Do Renetta's people know me? Does Cross Max people know me? No. That's why it's meet and greet. We're all going to meet and greet and say what's up to each other. But uh, that's about all i got to touch on. I want to make sure that you're getting up okay please if you watched the last video and you're still sitting on your rear and complaining about why your clothes aren't fitting right or I gotta wear something bigger or I don't want to go out today because I'm bloated please get up please do something with yourself and make a difference make a change if not for me do it for yourself because it shouldn't be for me you know what I'm saying if you got children do it for them Remember when you were a kid and you went to school and someone called your mom fat or something? They might not even ever seen your mom. But it got you, man. It got in there. It upset you a little bit. I'm just trying to make a stabbing point onto maybe a drastic measures for people to be aware of their health and that they can make a difference if only they try. It's a digital soul. I'll be doing another one hopefully before I get out of here because I ain't leaving till Friday at 5.55 a.m. Meet and greet as one.
get up and move. I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace. Psh.